Hey guys, another chapter 9, section 2 video here for you. Um, today we're going to work on how can I find the surface area of a pyramid. So we're kind of just introducing pyramids and getting into the basics today. So let's talk about what a pyramid is. First off, we already have seen pyramids in, the, in our, uh, what I would say, real world. Um, here's the famous, one of the famous pyramids in Egypt, which you probably have studied before in other classes. This one's kind of cool. This is a conservatory in Edmonton made of glass. And then you probably know what this one is. This is called the Louvre um, in Paris, which is a very famous museum in France that has tons and tons of artwork and historic, historical artwork and things um, from many years ago that, like, like the Mona Lisa, for instance, is in the Louvre. So it'd be a really cool place to visit if you can ever fly to France. And then here's a pyramid that's in Rome made of stone. Um, and pyramids are pretty interesting. It's amazing to think hundreds of years ago people could build these things so accurately. So in our notebook, um, what we're going to do is we're going to focus in this video on what's called a square pyramid. So we're going to write that down, square pyramid. A square pyramid is one that looks like this. It has a base in the shape of a square, if you notice, if you look at the bottom of the pyramid, it's in the shape of a square. Now we're going to draw this in our notebook, and drawing it, I'm going to walk you through the steps of how I draw a pyramid, but first off, uh, a little note, square base has four triangular faces. Because the square has four sides, that means that as you walk around the pyramid, there are four triangles, four triangular faces on this pyramid. Now, if you're drawing this in your notebook, here's my strategy. What I like to do is I put four points in the shape of what is almost a square but kind of slanted. Notice how my points don't line up into a perfect square. Then I connect those points together to form the base. Now here comes the next part. This part's kind of important. I'm going to place a point right up above my rectangular base. And I'm going to take all my points and connect them to that top point like this. Now the back one, I'm going to use a dotted line because it's technically behind the object. And if I was standing in front of the pyramid, I wouldn't be able to see it. And there it is. There's my square pyramid. And our job today is to try to find the surface area of this thing. So we're going to try a problem, example one. And for our pyramid in example one, it's going to have some measurements. So if you want to use that picture that you just drew, you could label it. Um, on the base, it measures five inches. And we have what's called a slant height of eight inches. Now I'm going to label that slant height because it's not the height of the pyramid. It's not how tall the pyramid is. It's actually slanted. It's leaning. It's how tall the triangle is. Now, we're, our job is to find the surface area. So I like to start with the base first because it's in the shape of a square. It's a five by five square. So the area of the square is five times five, which is 25. So that takes care of the base. But now I got to do all the triangular faces. So I'm going to draw one of the faces. And the face looks like this, shape of a triangle. What do we know about this triangle? Well, we know that it measures five inches on the bottom and it has an eight inch height. So to find the area of a triangle, we need the triangle formula, base times height divided by 2. So we're going to multiply the base times the height and divide it by 2. We're going to do 5 times 8 divided by 2. Now 5 times 8 is 40, and 40 divided in half is 20. So the area of this triangular face is 20, but how many triangles are there? Yeah, there's four of them. So our total surface area is the base, 25, plus four of the triangular faces, four times 20. Now that math we can add up quickly is 105. So because we were measuring, I think it was inches, we're gonna write inches squared, and that is going to be our solution. Total surface area is 105 inches squared. So we take the base plus all four of those faces, add them up, and we've got our total surface area. All right, um, there's also pyramids called triangular pyramids. We're going to write that down. The triangular pyramid is a pyramid that has a triangular base. It looks like this. How many faces around the object are there? There's a triangle, triangular base, and there's three triangular faces. So it's a little different than a square that has four triangular faces. Now, in future videos, we're going to work on finding the surface area of this object, but I just wanted to show you one and introduce it to you um, in this video. So we're not going to find the surface area just yet. But we are going to write down that the triangular base has three triangular faces that wrap around it. All right, 
So that kind of wraps up our video and we're going to have more on pyramids later, but just remember whenever you're finding surface area, just picture the outside of the object and draw those faces and find those areas and add them up for a total surface area. Thanks guys. Bye.